In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus CuNO32. This is potassium carbonate plus copper 2 nitrate. First thing we need to do with this net ionic equation is balance the molecular equation. It looks like I have two potassiums here and just one here. I also have two nitrates here and just one here. So I can take and put a two in front of the potassium nitrate. The potassium and the nitrates are balanced copper and copper, and then a carbonate and a carbonate. They're balanced too. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance. Potassium compounds are very soluble. Even though carbonate, often those compounds aren't soluble, we have this potassium compound. It's going to be aqueous, dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Nitrates, very soluble, AQ. So carbonates in general are not soluble unless you have potassium carbonate or sodium carbonate, group one elements. This is a transition metal here with the carbonate. It's going to be insoluble. It means it's going to be a solid. It'll sink to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate when these two substances react. So it's a precipitation reaction. We have a nitrate here. That'll be soluble. We put AQ for aqueous. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. On the periodic table, potassium is in group one. So it has a one plus ionic charge. The whole carbonate ion is two minus. That's a good one to remember. I have two of these potassium ions, so two K plus. I won't write the states each time. Let's do that at the end. Plus I have that carbonate ion, that CO3 two minus. Copper is a transition metal, so we don't know its charge, but we do know that the whole nitrate ion is one minus. Since we have two of them, copper has to be two plus. So we have the copper two ion. We say copper two because of the two plus plus we have two nitrate ions. So two of those nitrate ions. These are the reactants in the net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equation. So we just write this copper two carbonate. We keep it together. Then we have potassium and then nitrate. So two potassium ions, just like the reactants, plus two nitrate ions, also like the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out those spectator ions that are on both sides. In the reactants, I have two potassium ions. Same in the products. Those are spectator ions. Cross them out. In the reactants, I have two nitrate ions. I also have two nitrate ions there in the products. Again, spectator ions. We cross those out. And we're left with the net ionic equation for potassium carbonate plus copper two nitrate. I'll clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus CuNO32. Note that charge is conserved. We have a 2 minus and a 2 plus. They balance out, give a net charge of 0. This is neutral, net charge of 0. You can also count the atoms up, and they're balanced as well. Often we'll see the positive ion put first with these net ionic equations. It doesn't really matter. Perhaps it looks a little bit nicer. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for potassium carbonate plus copper 2 nitrate. Thanks for watching.